Hi guys, this is Rico coming back with another video and today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to pump down a split system. Uh, the first thing you want to do is uh, pull the disconnect uh, if it's calling from the inside because then you'll have your contactor kind of pushed in uh, before you pump it down. But I know my, you know, the inside's not calling so you don't have to pull the disconnect. Um, that's if you, I mean you can do it when it's running but you don't, you don't have to do that. Um, but yeah, the first thing you want to do is you can take these off, these get a 916 wrench and then take you know connect your gauges take off these parts here you can do it on the low side you can take off the high side wait you want to put these so you don't you don't lose these put them here and take those off you can connect your gauges so you should connect it here Turn your gauges on. Let's see what we get. Put some pressure in it a little bit. Close them up. Hit it at atmospheric pressure. Get it to zero. Let's, see, let's go ahead and hook this up. Actually, I'm actually on 14, but that doesn't really matter. As long as it's, you know, it's just pressure. You can hook up your high side. Let's get this in there. Hook this one to the high side. Get in there. Okay. And then, so we guess the pressures you're getting here is pretty much equalized and then you're gonna want to take these take these off here <clears throat> take these caps off okay and put these somewhere you don't lose them either and put them right here Put in the spot you want to use. There you go. Okay. You want to get your service wrench. First thing you want to do is make sure you have it in the right direction. You want to put this so it turns this way. And you twist it, it's going in. Close off your high side. Do it fast, I do it like that. Close enough, you're pretty much what the what you're really doing is you're pretty much closing this here. So you know the flow of refrigerant's coming from your low side, it's going in and it's coming out here. But once you close here, pretty much it's blocked, it's closed here, so the refrigerant can't go past this port service valve right here anymore. So it's pretty much in your refrigerant, all the refrigerant pretty much in this line. All of it's just getting sucked in, pressure's pulling it in and inside the condenser and that's what, that's how you pretty much trap your refrigerant. Well, most, if you can get most of your condensers big enough, you can get most of your refrigerant inside the condenser. Pretty much, and that's, you're doing that because you, you're going to cut these lines and there's no more refrigerant in the lines, no more in the coil. When you have it, when you have it, um, when you, when you start pumping it down, once you get, once it starts running, the compressor starts running, close it off. That's good. And then I like to close off the low side, get it started. Then you close off your low side. You don't want to close it all the way because you still want to. I kind of this is called getting it started. So when you're about to close it all the way, it'll be somewhat closed. So that's pretty much good. You get that started like that. It's still open, so it's slightly half closed, half half open. So you get that like there. And then, yep. So right here on the contact, you want to take that off because you want voltage. So I'm gonna have to. Well, actually, let's take let's pull the disconnect since I'm taking that top off. Pull this off. You have no power, and then you can use this volt tester. I'm getting nothing. Of course, you want to use a meter, but always want to use a meter to verify. 
I'm gonna take this top off on the contact because this is the voltage coming in. And when you push your contactor in, you know, it's pretty much bypassing, bypassing 24 volts and that gets, gets it going. Put this screw up here. Can you see it? Can you see it? Mm -hmm. oh. Put this screw here. Take this off for the contactor. Okay. Then you can put, grab a brush, put your disconnect back in. It's not calling. That's why it's not pulled in. Or it's not, pressure's not coming in. And so the point is, what's going to happen is, as soon as you press your contact, you're going to, well, you want to, you're going to want to turn it on and then your pressures are going to go down. Your high side is going to go down and then your low side is going to go down. And once the pressures go down, then you can start closing off your low side. So you're going to want to keep an eye on this. So pretty much you're going to want to push here. You push it in, hold it. And you, you want to use a stick because, you know, it's you're going to have electricity flowing. So this is pretty much not uh, doesn't conduct electricity. So that's why it's good using a brush. That's why I use this. Or you can use a screwdriver. Make sure it's not, you're not touching the metal, you get shocked, but you press this in and then it, you know, the unit comes on. Then you, then you, then you look at your pressures and you're gonna see it go down. So this is what's gonna happen. So your compressor's on. And once it starts getting really low, then you can like start closing your valve. Get it down to like 10 PSI. That's what I usually get it down to. You start closing. Then you let go, let go of voltage and you close your low side. pretty much closing now you're closed there so you just have a little bit of pressure in it about 22 psi I didn't want to keep going because then it can damage your compressor um, once you you know once you get it down too low you get it to a vacuum but um that's pretty low you can either um, you can grab you can get a use a recovery machine and then um, you can recover the rest which pretty much is just vapor left in these lines here. In these both of these lines, it's just pretty much just vapor. So you can just, um, um, you know, we use the recovery machine. I know a lot of guys, they'll just open the, you can just open this line and open this and, you know, just let whatever's in the lines out, which is pretty much just vapor. Um, but you know, you wanna, you don't wanna do that because you know, EPA. So you wanna, you know, wanna recover the rest, whatever in the lines and once you do that, then you'll have, you know, zero, zero PSI. There's pretty much nothing left in your lines. So then after that, you can, you know, cut your lines and after that, there should be no more pressure. So you pretty much got most of the liquid refrigerant out and into your condenser. Um, but other than that, yeah, that's how you do it. Um, if you think this video was informational, um, give it a like and subscribe and then you can leave the comments. Uh, if you have any questions, you can just leave them in, in the comments and I'll be happy to reply. Thank you for watching. See you next time.